The news coming from Wise these days is pretty spectacular. They have a number of new features, a number of new updates for all of their products, and even a few products that you probably haven't heard of. Hello automators, thanks for tuning in again. I'm Brian from Automate Your Life and today I'm going to take the frustration out of automation by keeping you up to date on everything within this inexpensive platform that you can bring into your smart home and as they expand, we know they're going to go international, we know that's in their plans here in 2020, but we also have been hearing about some very new products and today's update, I'm going to include some demonstrations of how you actually can use these products and some of these new features as the baseline for some of the automation in your smart home. Now the first update this week is actually both an update and a demonstration. So inside the account section and then inside of Y services, there's two things that you're going to notice here. Number one, person detection. Number two, complete motion capture. Now complete motion capture we've talked about before, but person detection is the update today. Now the update around that is that number one, if you have an updated the firmware on your cameras then you don't have to and therefore person detection will continue to work as it did before Apple bought Xnor and, and forced Wise through this path. But the update component of this is that some beta testers, so if you're a beta tester with Wise, you can go ahead and look in here. You might be someone who can add person detection back in. So that is on its way. They are in beta testing and person detection will return very soon to the Wise cams. Some other updates to your devices. If you do go and update that firmware, you will have the ability to actually eject a SD card out of this through the application interface face you don't have to do that physically anymore because it is kind of hard with these uh, wise cams your wise bulbs will actually have the ability for a power loss recovery option now you will find the ability to choose their last state or just turn them on fully now the other thing they added is the support for the wise lock and the wise lock went on sale actually just yesterday I'm recording this on the 26th and it went on sale on the 25th so you guys can go and look at a wise lock it is listed at $89.99 but when you pay attention to the very fantastic marketing video that uh, wise did and I think you guys should go watch that because it's just it's plain old funny the way they got these guys do marketing is great but if you go and you watch that and you start to listen in there, you'll note that the price will be $100. So this is a bit of a special offer. They've kind of taken $10 off the top for the release of this Wise Lock. Now, the other component is there is a wireless keypad and that is not yet on sale. They're talking May for that timeline. Another demo for us to walk through. This is one of my favorite things in the application right now because it's simple, but because it is so useful. And this is inside of the notifications. Now, you can turn off notifications for every device you have inside of this section in the account, but you can also go into the specific notifications you have for each of your devices. So you can see on in some cases, I don't have them on, and other cases I have them turned on for different statuses. And the, the contact sensors do really great in terms of if something is left open or if something is left closed for an extended period of time, you can send a notification. So that really helps you with, say, your front door. Now I talked about the new WISE devices coming out that you maybe haven't heard of. If you're a beta tester, you might have got access to something called the WISE Band. Now, the WISE Band is a really interesting device to me from WISE uh, for a couple of reasons. Number one, it looks like it can compete with a Fitbit. It looks a lot like a Fitbit bit which Google now owns and it also looks to integrate really well and I would expect it to integrate really well with their other system so what they're focused on here and maybe the most interesting part is that they think they're going to have enough products in your smart home to give you control of enough of your smart home to make a fitness tracker make sense for you and when you kind of combine it with the wise scale which we'll talk about here in a minute 
you know, you're starting to have a bit of a fitness and a wellness take to the brand as well as these inexpensive smart home options. So really interesting there. Now, Dave Zatz actually found a marketing video that shows a great demonstration of this. I'll leave a link down below so you can look at how the interface looks. Looks very nice, very clean, and you know, we'll have to see how this goes to develop, but it looks like Wise is very close to getting to the point where they can release the device for early access. This is a very simple demonstration, but something that I think a lot of you will use if you have a wise plug. And it gives you another reason to look at those two packs, which are very well priced. Now, the plug that I have can be turned on to a vacation mode just with a simple press inside of the device within the wise application. So this is very simple. And what it does is it randomly turns it on on and off. Now, something that you might want to do that kind of furthers this automation is start to synchronize your other products. Now, the Wise Bulb has a vacation mode on it, but not necessarily, you don't necessarily want it all to be random. But what you could do is actually edit a rule or create a rule that allows the device trigger of your Wise plug turning on or turning on for a set period of time so you could kind of delay the other products, you could use that to actually turn on other bulbs and therefore you can kind of have them come up in set patterns or all together at once and then turn them all off at once as well. The other thing you can do, and this was a question I got very recently, is set a timeline that you want those bulbs to come on. So it doesn't necessarily make sense to just put everything in vacation mode in your home because then there might be lights coming on in the middle of the night, but you could set start time and end times to allow your bulbs throughout the home to trigger later. Earlier in the video, I talked about the Y scale very briefly. Now they are getting ready for early access on that device. It's out with a lot of beta testers right now. The other thing is the Wise Outdoor Cam is a new product. Lots of people asking for this from Wise, but the fact is with that product, they are doing additional beta testing and additional adjustments based on the feedback that they are receiving. So I think we are still, a number of months away from seeing the Wise Outdoor Cam come out. They really want to get this one right because so many people are waiting for a great outdoor cam from them. Now we talked about those rules and the ability to set those up with vacation mode, but one of the best features inside of this account page, I keep coming back to this because Wise has done really good work here kind of bringing everything together in one spot in, in recent app updates. Now, the rules history, you can go ahead and you can clear that, but I would suggest that you do not because what it will actually show you from a statistical basis actually is how many of your automations succeed and how many of them fail. So if you're having connectivity issues or you're finding wise unreliable, you can usually narrow this down to a couple of devices and figure out when and how that is going. Now, you can see whether or not it timed out or there was some other error for, uh, for your own purposes here, but you can see how often it's succeeding and which automations are succeeding. Something that I think is going to pair really well with the Wise door lock, and that's kind of what we're seeing with this system overall. They seem to pair pretty well together, all work within that app, but the outdoor wired doorbell, so this is a wired option, and what they mean by that is in terms of its power is in alpha testing. So this is very, very early testing. Then they'll move to adjustments with the product, come out with some for beta testers, but they are very early in on this, but a lot of the technology being used there is going to come from that outdoor camera in terms of the processing, in terms of how they're determining whether or not someone comes up. And that product should come out still in 2020. They're still targeting 2020 with all of these products that we've talked about today and a few more. But one of the most important things for us to discuss around Wise 
is the data leak that they had over the Christmas break here. It was a big issue. And I mean, 2.4 million people or million accounts had their details and, and things exposed here. And this was a bit of a different exposure. It wasn't like their, their whole system was hacked and all of that information was stolen. No, it was kind of a mistake they had made internally with moving data around and then leaving something exposed. Now, what they've done in terms of this, they've been very transparent again, and this is what lots of people love about WISE. I mean, we're getting product updates, but we're also getting updates on what they are doing around this. And this has a number of components that they've worked on from an operational standpoint, and also just from an internal kind of policies and how they handle things standpoint as well. Now, they've made most of those changes, and you're seeing this on screen right now but they've made most of those changes but what they're moving into is kind of the testing of how those changes are going to impact them and how effective they are going to be and they're using third parties in order to do this so it's great to see the tact and the and and just the forwardness of how they are going ahead and trying to again gain back trust here for protecting privacy and your information one of the big updates around that is actually the ability to do more than just an SMS secondary notification or verification here of accounts. This is really important for those of you outside of US, outside of the US who've managed to get wise products. You're going to be given some other uh, more modern, I would say, or, or better secondary authentication capabilities to keep that account secure. Now, this is a bit of an old older feature within the application, but I think this is really important for people to understand with their Y system because it brings a whole new sense of automation and in terms of ensuring recordings happen. So, uh, you know, cameras aren't perfect in terms of recognizing motion and they're not perfect in terms of recognizing situations that they need to record, but you can make them even smarter with the Wise Bridge and the Wise Sense. Now, if I go into a contact sensor and I go into the settings for that contact sensor, the sensor videos is a really important component. And anytime a contact sensor is open or there's motion on a motion detector, you can set that up too. You can have one of your devices trigger a recording. So a really great example of this is anytime a contact sensor that's maybe installed on your garage door opens, you want a camera in your garage door to record. No matter what it is, when it is, you just want that to occur. You can set up these sensor-based videos and ensure that you're always capturing the right thing. That's it from WISE this week. Now, of course, you're going to want to watch our Google Home Updates video from just last week. We do these news videos every Sunday and it shows a ton you can do with the Google Assistant, Google Home, and how it can even integrate with the WISE product. So go ahead, watch that. Otherwise, guys, of course, thanks for watching and don't hate, automate.